The fourth day of my trip took me 333 kilometers from Cap Shaw to Cap Bonami through the Chick Chalk Wildlife Reserve. I set out from my campsite shortly after sunrise. Having burnt all my food to the ground on the first day of my trip, I needed to find somewhere to eat. But I didn't find many things open this early in the morning, so a breakfast sandwich in a gas station parking lot would have to do. With my stomach full, it was time to hit my first planned stop of the day. If not for the Trans-Quebec Trail app, I wouldn't have known that this wharf existed. It was well worth the view and I even found some pro Honda graffiti. Go Team Red! The first 50 kilometers of my day were going to be purely pavement riding. Initially, I was a little eh, underwhelmed by that fact, considering this was supposed to be an adventure trip, but this is just a spectacular piece of road with views for miles, lots of curves, and just a joy to ride on any motorcycle. I often found myself shaking my head in disbelief of the views I was looking at. It wasn't long before I made my next stop, which is a staple for any gas bay trip, the Lamar Lighthouse. Upon leaving the lighthouse, I was half tempted just to stick to this coastal road. It really was that amazing. But I had committed to the trans quebec Trail, so when the app said turn right, I turned right. It didn't take long to forget about that coastal road. Once I started climbing these mountains through here, it was just unbelievable. And I was a little overwhelmed at points. Holy. The hill got steeper, the terrain got a little rougher, but I might be a little bit over dramatic in my head while riding. Fortune favors the brave. Now I'm not gonna tell you to invest in cryptocurrency like Matt Damon, but hey, like and subscribe and you should get a good return on your zero dollar investment.
After a brief stop to enjoy and take in yet another view, it was time to show off my excellent navigation skills. Where am I? So this section of trail wasn't actually part of the Trans-Quebec Trail. It was a viewpoint listed in the app with no real routing to it. Don't think this look-off was the one I was looking for, but I think I may have done better. From this high up in the mountains, you can really see that these logging roads just go in every direction and they're all over the place. You could just really spend probably days here. Unbelievable. But without having days to spend in one particular area, I went back down the mountain, got back to the route outlined by the Trans-Quebec Trail app, and carried on. Now I feel like I have to bring light to a particularly confusing sign, to me anyway. So no moose or snowmobile allowed, don't chase moose with your snowmobile, don't let moose near your snowmobile, I don't know. But since I wasn't riding a snowmobile or a moose, I figured my $1800 was safe and I could carry on. Oh, a bit of a ways down. Chick Chalk Reserve is just a blast to ride through, but when I got to the other end, I looked over my shoulder and noticed another sign. Hmm. So while that sign kind of looked like me, I didn't hang around to find out. Um, I trust that the trans Quebec Trail app is correct, that it was somewhere I should be. So after a short stint of pavement, I was able to stop and rest my legs and fuel up at a small gas station in Murdochville. I'm finding it hard to describe the last leg between Murdochville and Gas Bay. You've got just rolling hills, great roads that are in great shape. Uh, they're not difficult, they're just a blast to ride through and just enjoy the view. You're not overwhelmed by difficult terrain, so you really can just take it in. This section wasn't without one oddity though. So yeah, a tiny church with the door open and a crazy bright yellow painted cottage or camp in the middle of nowhere. Sign me up. Once the dirt roads ended, I headed into Foreignol National Park, where I was able to explore a World War II battery. After exploring the battery, it was time to get some supplies for camp that night. Yes, BF1. Too bad I grabbed the non-alcoholic stuff. Seriously, I didn't know non-alcoholic existed in Quebec. So all that was left to do was set up camp, enjoy my beer-flavored water, 
as I enjoyed the view of the cliffs at Cap Bonamia campsite.